Matt and Aaron wish to marry each other for each other's company. They have found fulfilment and love. And as a consequence of this love, they have drawn closer to each other and now wish to publicly affirm their relationship and to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you discover someone who stands beside you, not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are and not for who you could be. Once in a lifetime, you find someone as you have found each other. So many stories I could tell you about my friendship with Aaron, and I know as his best woman I should be including some of these right now, but I really couldn't narrow it down to one. Most of our nights out and holidays were pretty eventful, and the majority of the time the embarrassment was on the both of us at the end of the day, so we'll leave it there. <laughs> so I'll never forget when Aaron told me about this amazing man he had met. He was smart, funny, intelligent, nice, attractive. I have no idea what happened to him. <laughs> But Matt, you're okay, I guess. <laughs> On a serious note, I cannot begin to tell a room full of people how much I love him. Aaron, you were one of my closest and dearest friends. The sister I never had, if you like. And it truly is a wonderful honor to be standing here today beside you. Matt, Aaron has chosen you to love him and keep him grounded. Anyone you like me was lucky enough to spend time in your company, knowing what a great couple you are. Before I finish up, I would just like to thank you for letting me share this day with you and I'm so proud of you both today. I met Matty in 2011 in America where we worked together at a special needs camp uh, for kids as co-counselors. We hit it off from day one pretty much and became best friends instantly. And now I know the best man is supposed to rip on the groom, but I really wanted to talk about all the really lovely things that I know about Matty through almost 10 years of friendship, Nights out, reunions, countless times we've spent together. So here we go. Great things about Matty that I know. I know 11 words that sum it up perfectly. Bethany, Katie, Casey, Chelsea, Charlie, Rossi, Ruben, Callum, Lucius, Tyler, and Sophia. They're the names of the 11 children that Matty and Aaron have welcomed into their home and loved unconditionally. And that alone shows what kind of people they are and I'm proud to call them my friends. So who better to tell you about Matty than Beth and Sophia, the two girls that they've taken into their home. He's kind, he's helpful, he helps with the work, homework. He takes us out and buys us everything. He's kind, and he's nice, and he's beautiful, and I love him. Many years ago, there was a very special woman in my life, my Nana, who sadly passed away. She left a big piece in my heart, and I went off the rails, so to speak, after it. I travelled the world trying to find the person to fill that hole, but never found it. Until I come home, I met you. You are my world, my everything. Through all the disagreements, which there are many. You are, you are my light in the dark, and I wouldn't live any other way. As time went on, our relationship and love for each other grew. We moved in together after just six months. We moved to our family home in 2015, where we started our fostering journey. We have gone through plenty of highs and lows together. I couldn't have asked for anyone else to have shared all the amazing experiences over the past few years. You have been my rock for the hardest times and my greatest supporter through all our successes. 
You are the most kind-hearted, generous, supported husband I could ever ask for. I can't wait to spend the rest of our days making memories and expanding our family by helping as many children as we can until we're too old to do so. You're not just my best husband, you're a dedicated carer that has improved many children's lives, some who are here to celebrate with us today. duty of the day is my favorite is to propose a toast to the newlyweds so ladies and gentlemen please be upstanding and raise your glasses to mr and mr harvey knowles (laughs) 